Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome to the Lady Walker Show. I am Lady Walker and beloved, we have another Jim Dandy of a show in store for you. I have a guest. She, it has been like a year since she was last here, maybe a year or a year and a half. And she is back and she is going to be sharing with us her up and coming living life on purpose single and relationship empowerment seminar coming up soon February the 18th and she is going to tell us a bit about that seminar as well as she is going to share with us the various things that she has been doing since I last interviewed her so welcome back to the show Miss J aka Jennifer Johnson Howdy, howdy, Miss J. Hi, Lady Walker. Oh, it's, it's a plum pleasing pleasure to see you. It is a blessing to be back with you. Yes, so since the last time that I interviewed you, you have taken off. You have, you have, you, look, you host your own show now. Yes. So I tell do. us about that show. Overcoming Dream Killers with Miss J. That is my show. Um, that show. Sometimes we have guests, and then sometimes I just teach from the Bible. But a lot of times we have guests and tell about upcoming events and things of that nature or talk about hot topics. So it's been a blessing. It's been almost a year that yes. I've been doing the show. But what inspired Overcoming Dream Killers with Miss J? What inspired that show? Well, actually, it's a spinoff of my book, Attempted Murder of the Dreamer, Dream Right, Killers. because the last time you were here on the show, you were talking about that book. Yes, I was. So that's a spinoff of your first book. Right. It's just something to piggyback off the book. It's, it's taken uh, off of what the book left off of. Okay. And tell us, a, we're going to go back, tell us a little bit about the book itself. Well, the book, Attempted Murder of the Dream Dreamer, Dream Killers, um, it's an inspirational book, kind of a self-help book, um, very biblical. I mean, the Bible scriptures is throughout the book. We explain biblical principles in today's terminology where people can understand, because sometimes people read the Bible and they don't get anything exactly. out of it. The, especially the King James Version. Mm -hmm. It's like you're reading another language. <laughs> it's like all those the and thou's and I all know. of that. People just get confused. And you try to go into prayer or using die and do and all of that. Yeah, so we think we're over there in England somewhere. <laughs> right. So um, the book just really makes things very simple for especially a young person to understand uh, the different life issues uh, and can apply them to themselves through biblical principles. And you know, in this day and time, we certainly need that, especially our teens, as well as adults, period, but teens especially, because they are so easily deceived. Right, and that book is really a helper to young people, especially teenagers, because we deal with a lot of issues, peer pressure, uh -huh. uh, suicide. That's the latest, biggest issue, yes. especially even now. I just recently watched um, the television, and it was talking about a young man killing himself. Um, I don't know if it was the internet or the television, but basically the young man had been bullied at work. It was at school and at work. And he was just tired and fed up and he killed himself. And you know what, so interesting because I, I heard as well, I think it was two young girls, probably about a month or maybe a month and a half ago, where they killed themselves, you know, while they were filming live. They killed right, themselves, right, right. committed suicide. Right, and somebody was just telling me about that. We was just talking about that a yes. couple of days ago. One a black Sunday. girl, a young black girl, and the other one was a Caucasian. Right, it seems like there is a suicide spirit, especially it seems like that it's brought on through bullying uh -huh. and intimidation. Yes. So it seems like America has a problem with bullying, which yes. is causing a rise in suicide. Basically, it's a spirit of torment and torture. Exactly. So that's what attempted some of the information is about. Right, that's one of the chapters dealing with suicide and so many other things. Uh, 
mostly a Overall, lot of, it's a good book because I read it myself because I interviewed you on it. So it's a great book. It is an excellent book, I must say. Yes. If I wrote it myself, I must toot my own horn. Exactly. Well, it's not really my horn because it was inspired by the Holy Spirit. And how long did it take you to write that book? Oh, it, I was procrastinating on really? that book, so it took me some time because I would lay it down. I wasn't consistent, so um, that that book was. But you know what I like about it? I like the chapters because there are many chapters in the book, mm -hmm. and they are not long chapters. Mm -hmm. Many like kind of chapters, and it's like okay, I can read this chapter today. Mm -hmm. I can use this tomorrow. So it's like even if you don't read it for a whole week you can still, you know, pick back up. Exactly. And then it gives you something to think about. You can read this, the, the chapters and then lay it down, and then you have a chance to let it soak and to say, well, mm, I never thought about it that way. That is so true. And then true. give you a chance to go look around in your environment, just look around in society and say, hmm, she's right about that. And you know what's so interesting is that even though sometimes when you look at various information in the book or any book, it's like, okay, I may not be able to utilize it as of now, mm -hmm. but I, can, I may be able to utilize it later on or give this information to somebody else. Right. If you can't use the book, it's most definitely usable. If someone around you needs mm -hmm. that book, it was inspired by the Holy Spirit because God wanted his people to know that these things that's going on, especially in America, is not of God. And right. he does have an answer for it. It's in the Bible, but a lot of times people misinterpret or do not right. read the Bible or do not understand it. So the book is very, very um, relatable. That's great. That's great. Now let's go back to your show, Overcoming Dream Killers with Miss J. Again, you say it, you pick a back off the book mm -hmm. itself. So let's talk about some of your guests. How do a person become a guest on the show? Well, they can email me, but a lot of times it's by referral. But definitely they can email me at Jennifer, that's J-E-N-I-F-E-R, that's Jennifer with one N, Demetrius, D is in David, E-M-E, T-R-I-S at gmail.com. Okay, great, great, great. And there's something else I wanted to ask you as well uh, about the show. But anyway, uh, we got three more minutes. We are going to take a break in about three minutes and we are going to come back and talk about the up and coming event that you have put on. Mm. And you're, I mean, you got great guests coming on. Most okay? definitely, we have a wonderful line up at this conference. It's a conference that you just do not want to miss want to because miss it. it's going to be a special treat. This is God ordained. God this ordained. wasn't something I put on for money because actually it is free. And that is F-R-E-E. -E uh, yes, free. it is free. That's good. Because sometimes people have a tendency to do things based on money. Uh -huh. But God wanted me to do this. He wanted me to step out on faith and do what he ordained for me to do. All so right. this is a faith walk for me. And you're gonna be blessed if you come. All right, now let me ask you, this is what I was going to ask you. What days or time do your show comes on? On Tuesday nights. Okay. On Tuesday nights, usually about 7.30. Okay, Tuesday and only one Saturday. night. Saturday. Tuesday and Saturday night. Saturday night I think it's like 10, 10.30. Okay, so if someone is interested in looking at it, they can look at it, well, turn on the TV or Flip the channel over to uh, Ch Comcast Cable Channel, channel 18, 18 around 10, 10 30, or right. whatever, or maybe a little later. And then that's on Tuesday. And then on Saturday, 11 30, or whatever. Mm. But you are on. I am and you have on. had some interesting guests. Very oh. interesting guests. Oh, yes. Mostly, um, it seems that. God uses me to deal with the prophetic and apostolic. So a lot of my guests are prophetic or apostolic. So that introduces my viewers to um, discovering the prophetic. Because a lot of times people don't know what the prophetic is or they have not been around apostolic people. 
So that means that people that hear and see in the spirit, which all of us have uh, a tendency where God can speak to us in our spirit realm. If you belongs to him, he can communicate with you. But most people do not seek him where he can communicate. A lot of times he's communicating with us, but we just don't recognize exactly. it. Exactly. A lot of times when he tell you to take that right and you just take the right, mm -hmm. you just thought you just turned that right because you just felt like you needed to take that right. But no, you took that right because the spirit led you to take Amen. that right. Amen. Your spirit picked up that you needed to take that right but a lot of times we do things without recognizing that we're being led by the holy spirit and then sometimes we just don't recognize so we can't be led amen all righty then well we are going to take a break and then we are going to come back and let you talk about the conference or the seminar that's coming up on yes. february the 18th yes all right beloved in the meantime you know we gotta take a break and we will be right back Welcome back, beloved. Okie doke. My guest is Miss J, host of Overcoming Dream Killers with Miss J. Okie dokie, Miss J. Now, let's talk about the seminar that's coming up February the 18th. Um, actually, that's on a Saturday, and actually, it's probably about 12 or 13 days until then. Okay. So, it's coming up on us approaching very fast. Yes, it is. So, this conference is called Living Life on Purpose. It's a singles and a relationship empowerment. So, um, God gave me the vision to have this, and I kind of kind of procrastinated a little bit. I am a procrastinator. <laughs> So, it, it can be somewhat easy to do at times. Yes, yeah, so I kind of put off, put it off until God sent a word, a prophetic word saying that I need you to do this conference. I want you to do this conference. And I'm like, okay, I'll do it. If you say do it, <laughs> I said, okay. So I started getting it together. And then actually I got discouraged. And um, I said, okay, I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'll just cancel it. So really? then another prophetic word saying that you need to obey. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, when the Lord say obey, you know, you better get out right. of your business because yes. you don't want a whipping from the Lord. <laughs> I'm like, okay, Father, forgive me. Let me do what I'm supposed to do. So I started putting it back together. So, and here we are now. So actually it's a free event. Uh, we're going to have a lot of vendors, uh, jewelry, some, uh, I think it's premier jewel, uh, jewelers, and paparazzi, that's the $5 jewelry. Oh, really? Yeah. Never heard of that. Yes, they have some phenomenal jewelry, like a whole set for $5. What? Yes, yes, yes. And we're going to just have some dynamic, even um, author, Teresa Friday, she will have a vending area there also. And um, Prophetess Alice Lee, she's a fashion designer. We're going to have a fashion show by her with the new release of her new clothing line for the spring. And she's also going to bring some of her merchandise with her, so you'll be able to be the first one to get it. All right. So, I mean, we got some exciting things, and especially we're bringing guests, even speakers from out of state. We have Prophetess Mary McDonald Barnes, which is a phenomenal speaker, a great woman of God. Uh, actually, she was trained by the same woman that Prophetess Juanita Bynum was trained really? by. Really? So All we right. do know who Prophetess Juanita uh -huh, Bynum exactly. is. So we do know that kind of caliber of anointing is not normal in this right. day and time. So to have that type of anointing coming to Mississippi is a blessing in itself. So God has shown us favor. So also we're going to have Pastor Charles McCaskill. He's right here in the capital city of Jackson. His church is right off of Highway 18. Oh, he is a phenomenal teacher, just excellent. And we're going to have Prophet Dewan Lewis out of Natchez, Mississippi. We're bringing people from all over the state to That's be great. a part of this. That's great. I mean, whatever kind of anointing, the help that you need to make your relationship better. Because we want better marriages mm -hmm. because a lot of times our marriages are falling apart. Sometimes people have married the wrong people. True. And sometimes 
they have married the love of their life, but they're not the person they thought they were. I know. <laughs> they love the person, but hate all the other drama that yes. goes with them. So we have to be taught sometimes how to love people right where they are. Mm -hmm. So this seminar is going to be seminars. It's going to be speaking. I mean, it's just going to be phenomenal. Some of the teachings are going to be about like from Prophet Dewan Lewis, what every man wants his woman to know. Okay. So you know that is a hot yes. topic. That's that important to know. That, what hey, is it that your you man want from want, you? Yes, yes. <laughs> That's something that, hey, you don't want to miss because you want to know what your exactly. man wants and, you to and, know. And you should because especially if you desire a healthy, relationship. wholesome relationship, you need to know. You can't just think that you know everything. Right. You got to have that open mind to be able to receive information that can be vital to the growth and the health of your relationship. There is always room for improvement. Exactly. Because nobody has arrived. In the days and times that we live in, things are constant changing and they're changing fast in, on every level of life. So especially in relationships because each person are dealing with their own personal issues as well as relationship issues. So, I mean, we have to be taught how to combine both of I them. I know because you got two different individuals coming together. Yes. And then there, there has to be some compromise right. and all of that. You, I mean, because as you get older, people are growing and they may like certain things now that they didn't like back then. Things right. change, people change. Right. So you have to be open to learning to learning about your partner, your spouse, or your girlfriend or boyfriend. You have to be open to learning about this person as they continue to grow. So it's good to know what your mate wish or want you to know. Right. And on that note, we are going to take another break and come back and let you continue to tell us about the seminar that's coming up on February the 18th. Yes. All right, T, beloved, we'll be right back. Welcome back, beloved. I am with Miss J, host and producer of Overcoming Dream Killers with Miss J. And she is telling us about the seminar that's coming up February the 18th, 2017. Okay, Doc, now you were telling us uh, about who are some of the guests and yes, all that good stuff. Yes, we got some phenomenal guests and we're going to be do doing discussion panels where there are going to be several people on a panel so you can ask questions that you've been wanting to ask. So the audience can ask yes, the people on the panel some questions. Yes, yeah. yes, those things that you've been, you know, talking about just with your girlfriends that you really want somebody else's, you know, insight about. Yes. And you really want a biblical perspective uh -huh. and not just a he said, she said <laughs> thing. Exactly. Because you want to know what God is saying about your situation. We're going to have some excellent people on this panel. Some mothers, some true mothers of Zion. Really? That can give you some wisdom. So this is something that you do not want to miss. And I mean, we're going to have where you ask it basket where you can put your questions in a basket. If you do not want to stand up right. and ask okay, your question, great. nobody will never know who you are. You know, when you come in, you get your paperwork, you fill it out and put it in the basket at that time. And nobody know anything about who asked right. this question. So this is something where you can get some of the answers about some of the things that are going on in your household because sometimes things are going on in our household and we just don't want nobody to know. I know. We, you know, embarrassed about whatever is going on. So this is an opportunity to get some answers about some of these issues without anyone knowing your business and who you are and what's going on. Well, that's good. So we want you to come and get the answers. But like I said, we have some great speakers. We have seminar presenters. Um, 
we have Pastor Charles uh, E. McCaskill. He's going to talk about the finances in relationship. Okay. The effects, the economical effects that causes issues in relationships when there is a lack of finances. And then also sometimes as singles, we feel that, hey, we can't be wealthy. We don't can't have the fullness of prosperity because we're by ourselves. We right. don't have that extra help. But in this conference, we're going to let you know that that is an erroneous, you know, ideology. I don't know where it came from, right. but it is not right. So God wants you to prosper as your soul prospers. Mm -hmm. So as you grow in the Lord, your finances and your pocketbooks should fatten Amen. up as your soul mm -hmm. fatten up. Amen. So, hey, Amen. we're going to talk about that to help your soul fatten up so that pocketbook can Praise fatten up too. Praise the Lord. So, you know, we want that green. <laughs> and we want to make sure that we think about before we just rush into relationships that hey while you're not in a relationship that you prepare for the relationship right and part of that preparation is your finances getting your money right and that you know we don't want to be so uh the young people say hungry you know hungry with your eyes just hungry want the first thing to come uh -huh. because you're looking for somebody to deliver your finances you need to lord to deliver your finances so you're not dependent upon amen. a mate to deliver yes, amen. your finances and then nobody want an extra burden you don't want to be an extra burden to anyone if you don't have to be so we want to work on those finances and we want to uh know and acknowledge that if we do not work on those finances there is something you're going to have to pay those are consequences right. that you're going to suffer in your relationship because there are issues that will arise because of, of lack of finances mm -hmm. so that is not god's will it's not god is letting you know come to this conference and get your money right so great 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 <laughs> Okay. And we're going to talk about, uh, we also have Prophetess Arnetta Lee. She has a church right here in Jackson, Arnetta, in North Jackson. Okay, Lee. But she's originally from Jamaica. So she's going to be talking. She has this accent. I just love to hear oh, her really? talk. And she's so wise. I mean, I just love to hear that Jamaican mm. accent. But she has some wonderful, wonderful teachings and testimonies from when she was overseas. You know, people that come from overseas, they see a lot of more miracles than mm -hmm. us as Americans. Which is so interesting. It really is to see it when you have to leave the United States sometimes to actually see those kinds of miracles that you, you know, you read about in the Bible. Right. And that's what she has seen and has encountered and God has used her in the miracle realm. So she is such a great woman of God. She has seen, I mean, some unbelievable things and she has unbelievable faith. And I mean, she's going to do something special for the singles. It's a special treat, so don't miss it. All right. It's something that she has done for myself as well as another sister. But it's sort of it's something God gave her to do for the singles. So don't miss it because she's going to do it for the singles on the day that she speaks. It's a special treat. Don't miss it. You don't want to miss it. Don't want to miss it. And then we have uh, Prophetess Latoya Johnson. She's been on my show periodically, but she's going to be the MC for that day. Okay. So she is a power pack woman of God. She is just, just full of energy and life. So it's not going to be boring. It's going to be fun. It's going to be, I mean, I tell you, it's going to be as the kids say, popping. <laughs> and the thing is, you got to come expecting right. to receive. Right. Come with the right spirit, uh -huh. with an open heart, and ask God before you even get there. Ask God, give me an ear to hear, and give me a heart to receive whatever you have prepared for me, God. And don't let me leave without getting what you have already prepared for me, because this is a God-ordained thing. This means that God wanted you to get a specific thing at this particular event, so don't miss it. All righty. Well, we got to take another break, and... We'll come back and wrap it up. All right. All right, beloved, we will be right back to wrap it up. Be right back.
Welcome back, beloved. Okie doke, my guest is Miss J, host and producer of Overcoming Dream Killers with Miss J. And she has been sharing with us the up and coming seminar on February the 18th. Okie dokie, now any more information you want to give out concerning the event? Yes, again, I want to let everybody know that the name of the event, the conference is Living Life on Purpose, and it's a singles and an empowerment conference. That means it's specifically catered to your needs. If you are single or if you are married and you're having marital problems, this is the place to be. That's Saturday, February the 18th. It's an all-day event, and it is free. Free registration, free breakfast, free lunch, everything is free. And I do mean F-R-E-E. -E. So that means that you don't have to miss it. I mean, because actually it's from eight to 3.30. So if you like to sleep in, that's fine. Sleep in and come after lunch. If you're an early morning person, then get there at eight o'clock when the doors open. We'll be doing prayer for one hour from eight to nine. So actually the seminars start at 9.30 a.m. So we're gonna do lunch about 11.45. That's free lunch. And also you're getting free breakfast if you come at eight o'clock for prayer. So this event is there for whatever issues that you're having in your single walk. Because a lot of times being single, you, you know, face a lot of issues. True. I mean, a lot of issues. And being married, sometimes you can face a lot of issues of how to get along with each other. But if you are in a troubled marriage, this is the place to be to get the answers, to get the encouragement, to get the extra love. So bring your significant other. Matter of fact, won't y'all just make it a couple's day. You bring your significant other and y'all invite another couple. So All everybody right. can So just, male or female. Right. Male, we, yeah. we want both because yes. we have male and female speakers. So that's going to be a word for the men. There's going to be a word for the women. So this is something that, especially if you're having problems in your relationship, whether you're married or you're dating, this is the place to be. Bring your significant other, and if you're single, bring your girlfriends, y'all have a day out. All right, and you contact know. information. And the contact information is, you can contact me at the phone number 601-832-8803. Again, that phone number is 601 832-8803, or you can Google my site at Jennifer with one N, J-E-N-I-F-E-R, Wix site, W-I-X-S-I-T-E dot com. You can go to Google and put that in, or you can go to my book site, my author site at www.dreamkillerstateauthor.com. Okay. So there's all kind of ways you can get in touch. And even if you would like to do some vending, if you would like to be a vendor, call me at 601-832-8803. But make sure you bring you some extra money because I'm sure you're going to want to shop with some of the Amen. vendors. Yes. They're going to have some phenomenal jewelry there. I mean, we're going to have paparazzi jewelry, premier jewelry. So I tell you and some other things going on, make sure you bring your extra cash so you can I do some heard shopping. That. Amen you can to that. do lunch and learn. Amen. <laughs> well, thanks to Tria, Miss J, for coming out and sharing with us the up and coming Living a Life on Purpose uh, Single and Relationship Empowerment Seminar that's coming up February the 18th. Thanks for Trill and I plan on being there. Yes, I'm expecting to see you in the house. Amen. As well as the viewers. Don't Amen. The Be there. I want to see your face. And on that note, beloved, got to go. You know it has been real. And in the meantime, I will see you next time on the Lady Walker Show. Ta-ta.